Hello, I am Sandra with Metaviz Pottery and also known as Meditis. On YouTube, I am called Mud It's All About and that is because someone took the name Metaviz before I could get it. In the last video, I showed you how to make an extruder. I also showed you how I make my rope handles using one of the die cuts. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to show you is how to put the handle on. I was just looking for the place I'm going to put it. Okay. Okay, it's kind of dried a little bit. I'm going to kind of flatten the surface out a little bit. And then I'm going to score it. I'm going to also score it on my mug about where I want it. I score it this way and then I go back and I score it again this way. And these are leather hard. And I want it to come way down here so I'm going to kind of line it up. I have a lot of trouble sometimes just getting my handles lined up after I've made them. They always say not to, once you get them on there, not to play with it too much, but I tend to do that. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of slip from my bucket, from my throwing uh, pail here, throwing pan. I'm going to add a little bit of water in here. And I'm going to add it up here to my mug. Sometimes I just add a little dab of water in there and get it mixed up real good. So I know it's kind of uh, sinking, it, sinking into the mug. Okay, then after that, I'm going to put a little bit on the end of my rope handle. Then I'm going to attempt to attach it. This is just kind of like putting a a handle on just a regular handle on a mug. So you're going to go around and around underneath here with your index finger on the top here. And then you don't want to let these rope handles, if you make one, you don't want to let them set up too long because they're twisted and they kind of want to dry on you. So let's kind of push it a little bit like this. Okay, and then you're going to figure out about how big you want to make your handle. So you want to make it like an ear and try to make it proportional. And I don't always score the bottom out of the handle. Make sure it's lined up in the back. Okay. Then you're going to cut it off right here. Then you're going to kind of mash right here and just kind of blend it in with the cup. There's the mug and the rope handle. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next clip.